everyone, this is Herrick bringing you another episode of Action Figure This Out. Today, we're going to be taking a look at an older figure. We're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane 10 year anniversary Savage Dragon. Now, I got this figure from a good friend of mine, Jacob Field, wanting me to do a review of this figure, so I figured, why not? Let's take a look at some of McFarlane's older figures because his sculpting is always pristine. So, before we get started, let's just take a quick look at the packaging. So, this is the old clamshell packaging that toys used to come in, all plastic and sealed. Alright, on the front it says Savage Dragon with a picture of Savage Dragon, and underneath that it says 10 year, 10th anniversary. Alright, on the side, you're going to see a picture of Savage Dragon, along with the image logo, it also says 10th anniversary. On the back, you're going to see all the other figures in this wave, so you're going to have Spawn, Shadowhawk, Ripcloth from Cyberforce, and the Savage Dragon. Alright, these are limited edition action figures featuring the original Image comic heroes in celebration of Image's 10th year. There's nothing on the side, and there's nothing on the bottom. And for anybody who needs it, here's the barcode at the back of the box. So perfect, let's action figure this out and take a look at this figure out of the packaging. The dragon is a large, finned, green-skinned humanoid whose powers include super strength and an advanced healing factor. He is also an amnesiac. His earliest memory is awakening in a burning field in Chicago, Illinois. Thus, for most of the series, the origins of his powers and appearance are a mystery to readers. So right away, I'm just going to say that this figure is great. The sculpting and details are immaculate. This figure is an older McFarlane figure, so it would be more or less a statue than an action figure, or what some people like to call a staction figure. This figure comes with a base that you can put the dragon on, and it's really detailed as well. As you can see, there's some brickwork with some bullet holes on it. All right. There's some bricks on the ground. You're going to see on the concrete, there's a couple of craters. And there's a nice little detail of having a metal skeleton on the base. The jaw is made of soft rubber, so you can move it around. So that's decent. All right. Well, here's the back of the base. Looks really good. That bullet hole's going right through it. So that's nice. All right. These bricks are also a soft rubber. All right. On the bottom, you're going to see it's a 2002 Eric Larson by McFarlane Toys. Alright, there's a single peg for you to peg his foot, foot in. Alright, so that's pretty good. So overall, I really like this base. It's detailed. It reminds me of the one that came with Vash the Stampede. Alright. Now... This figure overall is really great. The articulation, like I said, is more like older McFarlane figures, but it's still amazing. The sculpting is really detailed, and the paintwork is great. It's on par with some of the best statues that there is. Now, there's a slight watch of this figure that accentuates the details that I really love. And it's going throughout the body. You can see it's on his fin. It's bringing out all the little nooks and crannies, all the details that this figure has. Even on the back, you can see there's a wash on the shirt. So that brings out all the details that have been sculpted into this thing. Same with his jeans. All right. Now, this figure is amazing, and I'm happy that I really got a chance to do a good in-depth review of this figure. Overall, this figure is a decent addition to anyone's collection. It's highly detailed and really accurate to its source material. Now he is a bit top heavy, which makes him hard to stand without the base. You're, so you're gonna need to use that base that he comes with to display him. But that's no problem because that display, that base is really detailed and it looks amazing. All right, so I'm just gonna put him back on his base. There we go. So, now that we've taken a closer look at this figure, let's take a look at his articulation. Alright, I'm just going to take him off his base now. So, in his head, his neck, alright, he just has a cut at the base of his neck. So, that way you can get him rotating his neck this far. Okay, you can go full 360 degrees. Okay. Like I said, these figures were more like statues, movable statues, than action figures back when this came out. McFarlane was doing a lot of staction figures. Alright, in his arm, he has a hinge, 
which gives you the ability to rotate forward, rotate back. All right, he can rotate all around in a 360 motion. All right, he can bring his arm out a little under 90 degrees, and there's no articulation in the rest of his arm. All right, same with this one. It goes a little under 90 degrees. He can go forward, he can go back. All right, so he has an ab crunch. All right, it looks like it's a ball peg, but I believe that it is an ab crunch because you can't rotate it left and right. So he's got an ab crunch. He can go back this far. He can go forward this far. All right. He has a cut at his waist, which gives you full 360 degree rotation. Going side to side. All right. He's got upper thigh cuts, which give you the ability to rotate 360 as well. And for both legs. And he's got no other articulation aside from that. So you can call this a six point of articulation figure. Because there's only six points. So... Well, that's not a bad thing, though. This is a really detailed figure, and the sculpting is more, almost more detailed than current figures of today. So this figure is amazing. So now that we've taken a closer look at his articulation, let's see how he compares with other figures. Alright, so first we're going to take a look and see how the Savage Dragon compares with some newer McFarlane figures. We have the Mortal Kombat 11 Spawn and the Mortal Kombat 11 Commando Spawn. Okay, next we have Savage Dragon standing next to the Malefic Spawn from Mortal Kombat 11 and the Shadow of Spawn from Mortal Kombat 11. All right, and here we have him standing next to the Gunslinger spawn and the Thousand Toys Hellboy. All right, so I think that's going to be about it for today. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Action Figure This Out, where we took a look at the McFarlane 10th anniversary of Image, Savage Dragon. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews of your favorite action figures as well. Don't hesitate to leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. What's your favorite character in the Image line of comics? Again, this is Herrick with Action Figure This Out, signing off.